Hello, today I'm going to be talking to you about Spring by Ali Smith. Uh, this came out last year, but I had to wait for the paperback, which came out last month. Um, and this is the third out of her four seasons uh, series. Um, yeah, summer's next. I am really sad that we're not like a year behind on this because summer is due to come out in July this year and oh my god wouldn't it be I just really want to hear her write in the same way she's been writing these seasons books um about this current summer with the current situation um I think that would be incredible but we'll just have to wait and see if she makes a summer part two I've read both autumn and winter and I have at least mentioned them in videos and I will re-mention them below. Um, this, the events in this take place between October 2018 and the spring of 2019. It follows mostly two characters. The first is Richard Leese, who is an old film director. Um, he is reeling from the death of his longtime friend and um, collaborator, Paddy. And the second is Brittany Hall, who is a young woman who works as a detainee custody officer at an IRC immigration removal centre. Um, so she's a, like a bright young, young spark um, that was, couldn't afford to go to university um, and is now working at a, uh, a centre where basically people that don't have the right to live in the UK are kind of sequestered and usually are there for months before they get deported. The first 120 pages are just about Richard and then when they introduce Brittany I'm like oh no I I'm really I want to hear more of Richard's story I don't want to I hope this doesn't just like go off and not come back but then um with the help of this precocious 12 year old girl called Florence their stories kind of like intertwine um and yes it's great. This was such a good book it is so sharp and it manages to like really capture the mood of this country and across the full spectrum, it, ca it captures like the, 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 the really dark and hard and sad bits about life, but also the, the, the light and, and wonderful and whimsical parts of life. And that's what I love so much about Ali Smith's writing. This book was so good. And usually like the books that I love the most feel like they're written for me, like they've, they're targeted at the things that I like in books. And this didn't really have like, in terms of like plot and character, it doesn't have things that I like conventionally and more drawn to in um, fiction, uh, but it was it was just so great. Rarely do I like a book so much that wasn't written for me, if that makes sense. Another thing I really like about Alice writing is that she uses so many puns, but they're kind of like sophisticated puns. She's very playful with language and her characters are playful with each other with language. And these kind of like little puns that she drops everywhere um, are just delightful. Another other thing I really like about Ali Smith's writing is that she interweaves a lot of different um, like historical stories. So in this one, um, it was mostly about um, this relationship that didn't happen between two authors, Catherine, Catherine Mansfield and Raina Marie Rilke, um, how they were both in this town in Switzerland at the same time in 1922 or something like that. There's also small narratives about Charlie Chaplin and um, Beethoven and they're the kind of things that I would usually find quite off-putting about a book because I'm very conscious of um, like intellectualization in literature just being kind of like a way of the author showing you how clever they are. But I think there's an art to this in the same way there is with like dinner party conversation where you can talk about really highbrow stuff and it elevate everyone instead of like pushing people down who don't know or don't understand it but like you cannot know anything about any of the cultural references she's mentioned and uh she kind of like brings you without being explicitly telling you everything she'll kind of like bring you into the web of understanding without showing off without an ego and just kind of like lifting everyone up i think that is a skill that ali smith embodies phenomenally so this has been my video on spring by ali smith i hope you've enjoyed it have you read it have you read any of the other seasons one this is now my favorite i think for me it goes spring autumn winter so i am jazzed about summer i might even get it in hardback whoa might even get it hardback and then 
and then get it in paperback later on so I have the full set because that would be nice. Um, let me know if you read this and how it compares to you to the others and also let me know if this um if I've intrigued you to read some Ali Smith. I haven't read any of her other books. I used to have How to Be Both. I don't know where that went. Uh, if you're a big Ali Smith fan tell me what else I should read by her um, because I just think she's great. She's so great. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!